tonight's story is about ten rather close relations of ours who seem to get into almost exactly the same kind of trouble we do. All ten of these jolly characters lived in the same neighborhood and were all good friends, uh, generally speaking. One day they held a group think and decided to have a picnic in a little park just nine blocks away. Now that doesn't sound far, but a lot can happen in nine blocks, right? Well, sound off out there. I said, right? Right. So, they all ran home and made themselves sandwiches. <laughs> I know that doesn't sound too likely, but of course, human. One of the ten was a rather hungry type. His name was Slim Jim McGuckney. Slim knew that his big sack would be hard to handle, so he asked Orville Slump if he'd carry it for him. At last, they were ready to go, and at a given signal, they went. Now this is Ruthie Toot Jasperson. He had the newest bike in the bunch, and he was as proud of it as he could be. He made it a point to get in the lead, and there he intended to stay. But when you have to be first all the time, there are a few things you find you don't have time for. Such things as making hand signals. Pretty soon, he began to feel silly making so many signals to stay out in front. So he skipped one to rest his poor old tired arm. Just one signal, once. At this point, Rooty Two Jasperson left the party. Meet Nellie Swibach, but Nell gets upset, and she'd like to know just one good reason why she shouldn't take over the sidewalk all to herself. <laughs> Nell but Swibach got her one good reason. You've probably wondered about this fellow on foot. Well, his name is Mosby Pomegranate. He never made it down to register his bike and get a license for it. Last week, while he was rehearsing the lead in King Kong, someone rode off with his bike. He went to the police, but of course they couldn't help him since it had no license or registration. He stomped out of the police station angrily, and he's been stomping ever since. Victim of fallen arches. Slim Jim's bike recently collapsed from the effects of his diet and Trigley, being a nice little fellow, agreed to ride him. <laughs> so long, fellas. There seems to be a flaw in the buddy system. This charming little thing was actually christened Tinkerbell McDillingfiddy. She's a sweet and lovely girl, but she has a rather poor memory. And sometimes she forgets to look at traffic signals. Now she knows that she should. She knows that she should ride just like auto drivers drive. But she's so busy being happy all the time that her little thoughts tend to wander and... Oh, dear, dear, they're wandering again. Here she goes. Exit Tinkerbell McDillingfiddy. She forgot now and then. Now, let me introduce Philip Flugel. <laughs> Philip Flugel is no longer bored. Philbert hates his old bike. He refuses to take care of it because his folks will probably give him a new one for his birthday. You see, he doesn't know it, but he'll find out that there's not a shred of a break left. Quickly meet Stanislaw Hickenbottom while you can. He's a nice boy, but he won't be with us long. You are now looking straight at Stanislaw Hickenbottom. He has neither lights nor reflectors. Stanislaw just wasn't quite bright enough. So that's why Orville Slump is picnicking alone today. And he got fat. Of course, it was very lonely. But not as lonely as this.
But then, as anyone can plainly see, he wasn't a monkey, right? Now, that sounds as if you really mean it, right? <laughs>